Welcome to this video. I'm going to tell you some things about my art stuff that I took with me uh, on this journey. And it's a request, uh, Holly asked for it and she was very curious what kind of things you bring when you have, well, limited space in the, in the busy. <laughs> um, well, actually I have uh, a lot of space. These are the two cupboards that I'm using for my art stuff. Just two cupboards. So I was very proud of myself and I tried to select my art and put it in two boxes. And that was what I'm, well, what I wanted to take. So I have one box filled with paint and one box filled with all kind of other things like uh, pencils, pastels. And I have a bag in the back are some uh, folders, paper, uh, pallets, all the, all the flat things are here. And also I have this little uh, space filled with uh, my brushes. I have an A3 and an apron. And well, this is actually it. I have some spare uh, green gold and uh, white paint and a bottle of mixed media glue uh, that's in another cupboard because I don't use that very often. I also use the wardrobe because this is a well a tiny space and the wardrobe is uh, larger so uh, when I want to use for example big sized paper a three paper that's not going to fit in this these ones so that I put in the wardrobe but actually this is it before we went on the road I made a list of things that I really wanted to take with me and one of the most important things is of course my art journal and well, that's actually the only thing that I'm working in. Then I have this crate, it's an Ikea crate. And this is the one with two holes in it so you can carry it easily. And I have, well, some basic things. These are uh, just pencils, Posca pens, some markers, uh, scissors, uh, all kind of things that are, well, this is a very old uh, etui. Uh, that I still got from uh, secondary school. And here I have my palette bag. It's a leather one. And um, well, my, uh, my stepson and his wife gave it to me. It's handmade. It's uh, with my uh, initials on it. Uh, so that's very kind and very, well, wonderful present. And uh, here are, well, my main brushes and my favorite brushes are the Raphael brand and they are very long so I had um, I had cut off a little bit because otherwise it wouldn't fit in this bag. I just use two or three of those so I wouldn't have to bring this one but well it's just a nice thing. Then I have this tin and this tin is filled with Posca markers and some other markers from Edding. And well, I, I really love these colors. I don't like the bright colors of Posca. Uh, that's why I took the markers with me. But well, I don't really use the markers that often. So just Posca markers uh, would be enough. And then I have this little Japanese box and that's filled. I put some uh, clothes around it because otherwise maybe it would uh, get to the side each time and it would be uh, breaking. These are my new favorites and those are Inktense pens, uh, pencils. And I really love those ones um, because you can simply make a drawing with these and add some water to it or do it the other way around you add water and you draw what i often do is put these in a tin of water and then draw something with it and then it uh, lasts and it works very good with acrylic paint then another unmissable thing for me is the gel medium uh, i put it in a smaller uh, box tin 
and th this is the the larger one and this is the gel medium that i'm using in this small uh, jar as well so uh, this is the heavy gel medium from amsterdam and it, i really prefer the matte version and well we also use this for camper things that were broken but there's not a video about that so that's a funny detail you can use it for anything then what's left in this box it's a little tin with charcoal in different sizes i don't use that very often but it's taking not that much space then i have one of my favorites the roller then i have several pellet knives that I use very often and I have a larger brush then I have this little water tank then I have this tape which is very handy when there's a lot of wind like now there's a little breeze and uh, I, I uh, tape the protecting clothes uh, because now I'm working on a picnic table that is still uh, that is just standing there it's not my property so uh, I really want to um, well protect the table also I have a smaller thing to put when we have only our camper table I really love this uh, it's it's plastic it's kind of vinyl and that you use for to make curtains off we uh, uh, a friend of Anthony gave it to us, so thank you Hans. Uh, I really love this, uh, not only for a protecting sheet, but it's also a very good uh, surface to work on. So if I would give a workshop when on tour, then we could really use this for, um, to, make, to paint on. So it's a, it's a wonderful surface. Um, well, the rest of the box is empty. Uh, some collected things like stones and well little things that I collected and that are, are still in the box but uh, I didn't take them from home finally there's a bag in it with all kind of mix, mixed media fabrics like this and there's my paint box I decided to take acrylic paint with me because that is the main material that I'm working with and my favorite jars are taken with me so that's paints gray, buff titanium, hookah's green, um, mixing white, I have a small one with uh, titanium white I also have of course a green gold and I have a spare one of that with me and pale olive and I have those are all from the from the company Winsor & Newton I have two from the brand Amsterdam and that's Raw Sienna and Neutral Grey then I have well I'm missing some of my basic colors like blue I don't often use blue but also some rusty colors some pinks some purples and I took smaller um, amounts of them with me And those are all from Amsterdam and I have one from Galleria and that's Simone on it and this one as well so I don't have actually blue with me but I don't miss it yet so that's that's a funny thing and I have a couple of Ara paints with me with red uh, brown green were well, all kind of colors that really uh, appeal to me well before i went away i don't often use those colors in the small amount um, bottles and um, tubes i mostly use my main colors that i have in a smaller in the larger pots and i really uh, are surprised that I haven't finished one yet. This one is whoa, almost empty and also the paints gray is almost empty but we have still some weeks to go so I think I will be fine and well that's another challenge to use the paint that I don't use very often in the last week so that's a good thing. I've taken enough with me and well 
I think I even took too much with me. Finally, I have this bag with all things that I use very often with flat things. And it's very handy to have a bag because I walk a lot with my art supplies. So just like the crates, um, this is very easy uh, portable thing. This is what is inside the bag. Pellets, tear off pellets. I have a smaller one with me as well, but I mainly use this one. And I have also an extra one with me. This is a folder with all kinds of papers in it. Mixed media papers, they are blowing away. All kind of little things that I want to keep, uh, have with me. I also have the uh, handmade paper from the mill inside. I have an inspiration map folder and there are all kind of things in it. All kind of mixed media papers. And I have Organize them on color. This is all kind of patent paper, uh, all kind of finished things. And also I have a section with dried leaves, with um, poems and uh, texts, with drawings, and with inspirational well just things that i grab from magazines and things i come across that i really like so that's in this folder i use that one very often i have a small bag with stencils i don't use them very often but it's just a small thing and i have some mixed media paper that I sometimes use but not very often I mainly work in my art journal as I said and these are some more handmade paper that we got from the mill so in short I can say that my favorite things that I take with me are the art journal my paint and my box with mixed media stuff and paper of course now I have at home, I selected some things and I made a list and these were the things that were definitely on my list. But there was another list, the doubt list. And I really wondered if these things were really uh, useful for me while traveling. But I decided some things, well, to take with me because I had enough space for that. The owner of this place just comes by, so... Bonjour! <laughs> I have an apron with me. I also mostly wear old clothes, so I don't often use the apron, but it's handy that I have it with me. I have some tear off canvases with me. I haven't used them yet, so maybe I won't take them again the next time. I have a large mixed media paper, well, book. Uh, I haven't used that yet. I have a cutting mat with me. I haven't used it yet. I have a, an art journal with me that I've been started with at home, haven't used it yet. I have a smaller one which I'm working in and it's much more convenient when you have not that much space. Then I have this box, I haven't used it yet. And there are inks and all kind of, well, Indian ink, acrylic ink, haven't used it yet. So maybe next time I leave that at home. These are soft pastels. I use them once or twice when driving. Uh, it's very handy to have something to capture the landscape. So I will take that again, but maybe that not that much. I also have my Charisma pencils. Haven't used it yet. Though I love them very much, I haven't used it. So maybe I will not take that again. I have some soft pastels to uh, draw some faces. I haven't used them yet. I have a water tin, haven't used it yet. It's not taking that much space, but I haven't used it. And then finally, I have some gouache. Haven't used it yet at all. I thought it would be handy. Maybe it would be handy if I could not take a crew paint with me at all. 
but I, if I have acryl, acrylic paint, I just use that. Then I have some spare brushes and they are still very long because they are the Raphael's. So I had to pack them in with a toilet um, roll and, and a Pringles uh, tin. So these are all for if one of my brushes is lost or gets broken. But what I experience is that I am using just two or three brushes. I'm very frugal with that. I take care of them. I dry them every time. I clean them in a proper way. So, well, I can do very long with it. At home, when I use eight or nine brushes at the same time, I experience that they get, it gets more broken. Uh, they get broken more often. So this is for me a better way. And it really, yeah, it's really good. And I don't miss other brushes, so I won't take them. I thought maybe we could um, shoot a new workshop about landscapes. And that's why I brought these uh, canvases with me. I have two other boxes, so in total I have nine uh, little canvases with me. Haven't used those yet, but maybe that will come because we still have some weeks to go. And of course, there's an airplane in our video again. So these are all the things that I uh, that I bring, and well, I can do with without a lot of those stuff. So my insight is really that I don't need much, and that I gather things along the way, and that's. Uh, the best thing especially when you do art journaling uh, so that's really a good thing i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have further questions please let me know if you want to see more of my art please watch uh, the channel loose artworks and in this on this channel you can find all the travel videos that we made so see you next time bye bye